What if you could steer a self-driving car with sound waves? It may not be that far-fetched. A team from the University of Michigan found that sensors in things like self-driving cars could be vulnerable to hacking by sound waves. Andrea Day reports. Keep your eye on the toy car. That sound just made it change directions. Watch again. Instead of the user controlling the car, I was controlling the car with the sound waves. It's the first time this team from the University of Michigan has publicly demoed their latest research, sponsored by the National Science Foundation. Here's how it works. There's a tiny chip inside your smartphone called an accelerometer. That sensor keeps the image on your screen displayed upright. Certain apps use it to work, like the app the team's using right here to drive the remote control car. Because we can deliver sound waves to control what the phone thinks its orientation is, we can then control that vehicle. They started researching after some colleagues in Korea found a way to make drones fall out of the sky using sound waves. Accelerometers are used in drones to keep the flight stable. The propellers would spin in a weird fashion and just drop. And we thought, well, that's kind of cool, but what if you could just take it and fly away? The difference between causing havoc and, and taking over the control of the system. And that led to controlling the toy car. There are billions of accelerometers in use right now, controlling everything from medical devices to the airbags in your car. And their role is growing. My fear would be that someday, five, ten years from now, uh, if the manufacturers haven't taken these risks into account, they're going to be systems that might suddenly all fail across the entire globe simultaneously. His big concern? Self-driving cars. They're inevitable and they're going to be driving based on sensors, flying uh, just on instruments. This is where those sensor readings are going to be so much more important because we need them to be trustworthy. And that's why they were quick to share their findings with Homeland Security. Because this is not just one company, these are thousands of companies. I would not be surprised if, if the underworld has already discovered this. Um, we think the best way to solve these problems are doing it out in the open. The team has already figured out a way to control sensors in smartphones and fitness trackers. They're now checking out more critical systems like pacemakers and aviation. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Andrea Day.